Today I'm going to show you guys the mods I did to my LRP 457. Stay tuned. Welcome back to ProTuned. My name is Ryan and today we're going to talk about my LRP 457 by CZ and what I've done to it so far. So first off the thing you'll notice is the Arca Swiss rail. This is the modification I made so I can extend my bipod right to the very end or all the way in. I'm going to start shooting off the different, uh, different things and I figured why not. Everyone else is doing it, it works really great, so let's give it a try. So what I did was, I took two swivel mounts out for a sling swivel in the front, and I used a bunch of wood screws the same thread pitch and size, and I had to drill one extra hole in the stock, but it's not going to make much of a difference at all, and I'm probably going to have this forever until I change the stock if I need something better. That's one of the first things I've done to it that's going to make the biggest difference for sure is the Arca Swiss rail. Secondly, you can't take the bolt out when you have your cheek riser where you want it set. I, I set it to where it's perfect for me and I don't want to move it anymore. So what I had to do is trim a little piece off the end. So I took a hacksaw and cut this little tiny sliver off here and now I can take it off. So just enough to clear, but it comes out way easier now, and you don't have to move my eyepiece here or my cheek weld. So it's always going to be the same. Repeatability is key for long range shooting and precision shooting. So I don't want to have to touch it after it's set, I just want to leave it. Only time I have to touch it now is if I clean it, but what I could do then is just pull the action right out of the stock and then clean it that way. And then I'm not adjusting anything and all you have to do is torque the action screws back down to 31 inch pounds and you're good to go. So the next modification I did to the CZ457 is I changed trigger spring. I was watching a bunch of videos on the Yo Dave spring and I realized all it was was a spring replacement so I went and sourced out a size spring that would fit into the trigger shoe and it just so happens that uh, the odd mechanical pencil or mechanical pen or click click pen you know that spring will fit into the hole perfectly you don't even need grease to hold the spring in when you reassemble it so I'm not going to give any specs on that because I don't want to be responsible for anyone else hurting themselves if they decide to do this mod I'm just going to tell you that you can find the spring inside of mechanical pens or pencils and it's up to you if you want to try this and it's trial and error so be prepared to take it apart put it back together a few times and until you get it right and then I adjusted the creep over travel and the pull weight. So right now it's set at exactly one pound. And that's where I, I, it's perfect, the same as my RPR. So keeping everything consistent is key too. I also set my length of pull to 14 inches, that's where I always run it, all my rifles are 14 inches, so keeping everything consistent is key. So that's basically the mods I've done to this so far, and now we just got to put some uh, trigger time in and see what it can do. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I noticed a lot of you guys haven't subscribed yet, so please, please click that subscribe button, hit the like if you like this video. I have a whole bunch of 457 stuff coming up now and uh, a lot of rimfire shooting. So if that's what you want to see, stick around and watch more of the videos. Until next time guys, take care and have a great day.